People pretending to be police officers are trying to steal your money tonight. Those fraudulent callers are leaving messages like this. You have an unpaid traffic ticket of the sum of $154. Trying to convince you to pay traffic tickets that you never even got. Welcome, everyone, to Coin 6 News at 11. I'm Kelly Day. Jeff Giannola is off tonight, and we talked with one of the victims tonight. Cor Harlan is live along I 205 with more on this story, new at 11. Cor? Well, Kelly, this fellow you just met, James Kelly, there, got the call this morning. It was, a, it was an automated message saying that he owed $154 as a result of a traffic violation incurred here on I-205 as a result of photo radar. James this morning suspected the call may have been fraudulent. He was right, and he wants others to make sure to make that others don't fall prey to the same trap. James Kelly's day got started with an unexpected automated call claiming to be from the Oregon State Police. All he heard when we first answered the phone was a couple of sirens in the background and said, Hi, this is so and so with the State Police. We have an unpaid traffic ticket. The message indicated Kelly was on the hook for $154. He returned the call and was told by a real person this time to put $154 on a green dot money pack card and call again when it was ready. This would take care of the ticket, the warrant, and it would not go on my driving record. Kelly learned from state police later it was not them calling. He did not lose any money, but he is worried that others might. If they called an elderly person, they would pay that money, and they're on a fixed income. They don't need that. Nobody needs this in the economy that we are in right now. For the record, Oregon State Police say they do not collect money over the phone under any circumstances. James avoided losing $154, but he wants people to know the danger is out there and it could pop onto your phone at any time. Now, occasionally, courts will assign some collections to collection agencies, but in case you get a call from them, they will have specific things like case numbers and dates of uh, court issuances and all the rest of that. If you have any questions about this, if you do happen to get a call, you can also call a hotline set up at the Oregon Justice Department's office. Uh, live out here in southeast Portland, Cor Harlan, Coin 6 News.